So the marketplace told you your ragdoll is unacceptable. Not a problem. This just means your ragdoll joints are bending in ways that humans really shouldn't be. Now there are two things you're gonna need to fix. First is your collider hitboxes. I recommend you open the official Unreal 5 ragdoll to see what it's supposed to look like, then open up your ragdoll and start adjusting the hitboxes. When you click on a capsule, you can adjust its size, shape, and rotation the same way you would with anything else. Second, you'll need to fix your joint limit rotations. These are represented by the little red, green, and blue cones where the joints are located. These these cones represent the direction that your joints are allowed to rotate. Now, when you are dealing with joint rotation constraints, how should this joint move and what axis does it need to be free? For example, here we have an elbow, and it has all three axes available for rotation. But it's an elbow. So unless you're making a game where you can break bones, it makes no sense for it to be able to move on the red or green axis. So on the right, under angular limits, we can lock the axis that we don't need down here. We can also set the rotation amount with these values. Right now it's set to 45, which means that if you look at the red rotation pi, your arm can move anywhere inside that red pi. But if we change this to something like 180, you will see the pi get bigger, which will allow the arm to rotate between 180 degrees instead of 45. Now, arms don't really bend 180 degrees. You can play with the values until you find something you like, but usually 45 is a pretty good looking number. And if your angular limits are correct, but the rotation pi is not covering the area that you need, while in rotation mode, if you hold alt and left click, you'll be able to move the pie itself so the limits cover the proper area you need. Once you think the limits are correct, you can test all the children of the specific rotation that you are testing by going up here, simulate options, and simulate selected. Then if you hold control and right click, you can drag the pieces of your character to start testing your rotations. And it's important to note that these rotation limits and values will probably have to be reversed on the left and right side. And that is because the way that Unreal real skeleton is set up. It is not a glitch. So the left rotation pie will look something like this, but the same joint on the right side will probably be in the exact opposite position. So just fix your colliders, fix your rotation limits, and you'll be golden. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.